what's up besties today we're going to be doing our paycheck to paycheck budget this is not a i'm living paycheck to paycheck this is helping me to see what coins i have left over so if you are getting paid bi-weekly um i think i'm semi-weekly whatever semi-monthly whatever they call it bi-monthly however you want to call it if you salaried or if you get paid hourly this is a great great way to budget your money for your paycheck so that you can see what you're working with and count the bills and dates that you have with in that paycheck you guys are going to see all of that stuff in the video so go ahead grab your pay stub go to adpt.com and grab it off of there on your phone your mobile app or whoever pays you and then grab your bills and meet me back here so we can do our paycheck to paycheck budget hey. all right so let's go ahead and jump right into our paycheck to paycheck budget you guys know i love a good paycheck to paycheck budget um a lot of the reason why is because you're able to really break down your budgeting so it's good to see it on a level like this like this is very good okay like don't get it twisted i love that method um because this gives you an overall picture of what your expenses look like but you have to take it a step further and do a paycheck to paycheck budget so that you understand exactly how it'll flow and a lot of times what will happen is like right here it says i got 600 eighty dollars and 68 cents that i'll have left over after i paid all my bills i've um paid my ties i put some money to the side um i'll have some money left over well the t is that 680 dollars may most of it may come out of paycheck number two versus paycheck number one so if i'm banking on something coming for paycheck number one i'm gonna put myself in some deep deep stuff all because i wasn't paying attention okay so um that's why I think it is so, 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 so important to make sure that you do um, a paycheck to paycheck budget just so you can make sure you're capturing everything that you need to capture and you're not missing out on anything because that's the last thing you want to do is miss out on um on your coins. Like, I mean, who wants to miss out on their coins? All right, so here we're going to do... Yeah, we'll do our that one there, and then I'll do this one for paycheck number two. I was trying to make sure I was on the right track for myself. Um, because sometimes I'll do my cash envelopes and stuff over there. So I'm going to go ahead and um, label this one. And we really don't have to take it out because I can write on this side. All right, so let's do our first. Uh-uh. Girl, she clowning. Okay. <laughs> Let's do our first paycheck. Like I said, I'm clowning because I have this one here and I was finna start a whole new no new sheet. You know, come on, girl, get it together. So this is a kit from Shea Budgets. If you guys didn't already know, like y'all, y'all should know by now, okay? It should it it should be self-explanatory at this point when you see the kits, like you just already already should know. Like it's it's Shea Budget time. Okay, so we're gonna put down I feel like I had another one from last month that I should have been using. Okay, so we're going to put down our bills and expenses. Um, I was going to put down, well, yeah, we'll do that. We'll do that there. Okay, so we'll write here our bills and expenses for this particular time and then up here I'm just going to write paycheck. Now I just came over to here and I have this cap. Ain't no telling how long I had this uncapped. So let's just say a quick prayer that this pen decides that just because I didn't love on it for these days that it still loves me okay let's just and it does it still loves me all right so if it skips a little bit that's why because the pen was the cap was off the pen still a good pen y'all know what I'm saying I mean I know it's my my pens but they're still a good pen what am I looking for over here oh looking for the orange I'll come through okay all right, so we're going to put our income over here for um, paycheck number one. See, see though, just when, I, just when I thought it was safe, I just came and said, this pen is going to write, and this is where we're at. So let me make sure. Um, let me get this piece of paper. Come on. You know what? Y'all ain't got time for this. So this is what happens when you leave the cap off your pen for this has probably been over here for at least five days without the cap being on there so it may have dried out 
So we, that's okay, because guess what? <laughs> Say less. We have more where that came from. Y'all know I don't trip about a pen. Go never trip about a pen. All right, so let's go ahead and knock that off real quick. All right, so brand new pen. That way y'all can see. This is what happens. So you got to cap your pen, okay? <laughs> oh, here we go. All right, so we have our income at 2060, just so we know um, what all we have coming out of this paycheck. All right, so right off the bat, you guys know um, the first thing we're going to have to pay is our rent easy. And we've budgeted for $780. So we're just going to put that over there, $780. And I probably could see my actual, but um, sometimes they'd be like, maybe clowning a little bit with putting the stuff on there. And I don't know why. Um, let me see if I can pull it up. Cause I promise I'll be having like, <laughs> I'll be having to wait. Like it'll come on like the second or the third when they'll send, like put the bill on here. Um, let's see. Okay. Do you guys have a thing where you can make your payments online? I love this that I can make everything online. I have my phone over here. I don't know if it'll pop up and show my address. So I don't want to put it over here all the way. Yeah. So like over here it says make a one-time payment and it says, um, current amount due is zero dollars so i can't even see like exactly what the fees will be so we just budget for 780 for right now all right then we know our insurance which um i told you guys come the month of december i hope that i can um work to get this down because it should have been a year now that we've been doing this um particular insurance um i mean they're good i haven't i mean y'all know I, I don't really have to deal too much with it i just have insurance um so I, I really don't have to use it until i have to use it you know that it's like that type of thing so i mean they're pretty cool i guess but i just think this is outrageous i would like to get this down to um at least just 200 dollars for all of my insurances because this insurance includes my renter's insurance this is my car insurance and my life insurance and i'm gonna go ahead and write that in there um just for people who may be wondering like oh is this all her no um yeah so we have all those insurances are all encompassed in one and then of course my health insurance comes out of my paycheck before i even get paid and uncle sam gets his money too that's a whole ugh, we're not even gonna get in that okay then we have navient okay and navient is only um 90.05 and that's going to be our actual and our budgeted. Now, what I do need to make a note down here is I have to research for this um, month in order to keep my program going. It is that time again. Um, so I'm going to do that come um, the end. Well, actually in a couple of minutes because they said um, it ends in November. So in December, it would go back. So if I go ahead and start filling it out now, we'll be in a better place. Okay. Now we have um, iTunes. And that is sixteen forty one, and then um, zips car wash. Okay, and that is fifteen, and then Celine TV, and that's thirty eight thirty one. Okay, and then also on that we have um, the kickboxing which as of this morning it actually has come out already which it's only nine dollars and let me see um i know because i got an email this morning telling me that it had came out and i don't have time for the correct right okay so it's 9 83 that has already came out so when i get a chance to um i haven't got a chance to call them and cancel yet but that's on my list hopefully this will not be on there anymore unless they have some outrageous you know fee or whatever um and then we're just gonna put our itunes oh you know what no we got to um i'm glad i'm glad about it i'm so glad about it okay we gotta fix that so it's 983 that's 983 times 2. 
so and the reason why is because I'll have to pay this twice um so we're gonna budget for 1966 and hopefully when we do our actuals we'll come back and it'll be 983 over here that's because that's two weeks that'll have to get paid within there so that's a whole thing all right so then we have itunes number two and that is 9.99 that's our storage can't do without that have to have the storage on there okay and then um we have aftercare okay and the aftercare let me look at the calendar um for the month of november it was the month of november Okay, where did November go? Did we just lose November? Shawty didn't put November just anywhere she wants to, honey. Just anywhere she wants to put it. Child, what in the world is going on here? Did I? And I didn't even break that one. Oh, well, okay. These two don't belong here. That is so funny to me. Okay. Gotta put stuff back where it belongs shell how you gonna look at the calendar and it's all wrong okay so we have um child care due it'll be due here and here before i get paid yeah so we'll still put a hundred dollars and that's how i have to look at things so i can see overall like what's coming out in my check and that's why i like looking at this uh, monthly view because the monthly view definitely like puts you on game like okay my paycheck is here so everything that has to be paid has to be paid clearly through here where it doesn't interrupt anything um where you know i'm not trying to stretch or whatever like i just need to make sure all that stuff gets paid through there all right so then we're gonna do our cash envelopes And we'll do our sinking funds. Okay. And we did change our cash envelopes. So I could stop getting that extra <laughs> um, $30 out of there every time. So our cash envelopes are now at $390. And then our sinking funds are at... Um, uh, our sinking funds are at 80. I was like, that looks funny. Okay, so our sinking funds are at 80. So that's 390 plus 80 now versus where we were doing 420. And that's just because I was taking that extra um $30 out of there that didn't really need to be taken out of there. So just kind of you know preventing some things. Um my cash envelopes, for those who don't know, my cash envelopes include my groceries, personal care. Okay. Um, eating out, fun, household. Okay. Um, those are the categories. Oh, and gas. Gas is over here. <laughs> and gas. So those are the categories. I know people usually are like looking at the budget like, where are, where are you paying this stuff at? Well, that comes out of my cash envelopes. And then my sinking funds is what covers things like my son's um, school stuff, birthdays, um, different things like that that may come up that I need to save for. You guys will see that video um, in as soon as I get paid and go take the coins out. Um, <laughs> so you guys will see that video soon and you can see exactly how I do it. I'll try to, you know, break them both down um, again. Because as we get started with the new year coming up, you know, I want people to be able to start these new processes and be successful at them. All right. So we have here, we'll do our total expenses. And then total remaining. Okay, so something we also need to note, um, and we'll put like a little note down here. Um, let's see if I can find a quick little, well, oh, how about this? We'll just put a little thing, we'll put a little bit down here because we need to remember these birthdays that are going to be happening. So that's a quick little note. And then we'll have, um, let's write notes here. We have to research. We want to go ahead and get that out the way during this paycheck. Um, the birthdays that we'll have during this time are going to be. Um, oh, OK. It's Terika. Kyra. And I believe Zaina falls in, in this one. OK, 
so that's a bunch of birthdays right there make sure we put them down all right so we're gonna recertify for navi and that's definitely a thing so let's go ahead and do our total expensions there um we have 780 plus 260 plus 90 plus 260 plus 390 plus 80 all right so our total expenses come up to 1804.42 okay and then let's subtract what our income is so we have 2060 all right so that leaves us with a remaining of 255.58 that's going to be our remaining for this particular um month and that's i mean that's actually not a a bad thing i think this is a really good amount to have left over but that's what i was talking about where you have over here it says 680 68 and you may just be thinking oh half and half and i'll have more left over but that's really not the case so uh, we have 255 dollars and 58 cents left we have to remember to recertify for navient we have some birthdays coming up that this money may come out of um and then we also have thanksgiving um which hasn't been finalized um so we're gonna write thanksgiving plans um need finalized and something I also forgot about is in December, we're actually taking a family trip. Um, so I need to put money aside for December trip. And what I'm going to put aside there is just making sure I have like a little bit of extra spending money. Not necessarily like staying money because I've already been saving for that. And um, we're going as a family. So we're like splitting a lot of the costs and stuff. We're going to Florida. So that's going to be really super fun um, and something different. Alright you guys. So this is what my first paycheck of November is looking like. Again, I really highly suggest using a paycheck to paycheck method. I know some people are like, well what you budgeting paycheck to paycheck for? you know you shouldn't have to do no you should you need to see where all your coins is at where are, are all your coins going so with this 255 dollars i make sure that i'll kind of make a note of it and i'm aware that that is there and then at the end of the month i just kind of decide where i want to distribute my funds to so once my all my bills have come out towards the end i take that money out and i just throw it into my savings account that i have connected to my checkings for this one and then I decide where I want to go that way I'm just not overspending and I'm not moving things that I shouldn't be like you know you know how that happens you see extra money in there you like okay I'm gonna go ahead and spend this no as far as anybody knows I'll be broke okay broke 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 see look at that look at that my alarm even wants me to wants me to finish all right so thank you guys so much for watching I will catch you in the next video Mwah! KK bye Yo, that alarm is real. You real, you real childish for going off right now. Just like that. Like, for real. Okay, you got these people hearing all that noise. You know you loud. Shoot, you could have just, I put you on silent. You could have silently said something. But no, nah, here you go. Want to be loud. Whew, all right.